Welcome back to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. It's that segment that we really enjoy showing you off to our viewers. We call it Pennsylvania People and Places. We'll begin things this morning with Zach Underkoffler and the beautiful brown trout that he caught while fishing on Rattlin Creek in Lichens. Zach's brown trout measured 22 inches in length and was caught while fly fishing with a San Juan worm. Here's seven-year-old Jeffrey Kettle of Scranton in his very first largemouth bass. Jeffrey's largemouth bass was caught while on a family vacation at the St. Lawrence River, and he caught it using a worm and a bobber. Take a look at eight-year-old Connor Newhart of Berwick and his very first trout. Connor caught his first trout while fishing with his pop Curtis, and they were at Briar Creek Lake in Berwick. Way to go, Connor. Check out the crappie that Tom McCabe of Plains caught while fishing at the Seastown Reservoir. Tom's crappie measured 16 inches in length and was caught on a tube jig. Here's Tim Colna of Pottsville and the brown trout that he caught. Tim's brown trout, which he said weighed nearly 8 pounds and measured 27 and a half inches in length, was caught on an egg pattern fly. That's a heck of a trout, Tim. Congratulations. 15-year-old Austin Haverstick of Pottsville caught these catfish while fishing with his uncle Jerry. They were at the SNA Trout Pond Annual Catfish Rodeo. Austin caught his catfish with a strawberry chicken garlic mixture. That's a heck of a mixture. We're told that he planned on putting them on the charcoal grill for dinner. Way to go, Austin. Check out the smallmouth bass that Grayson Fritz of Danville caught while fishing with his dad, grandfather, and his uncle on his very first fishing trip to Canada. Grayson's smallmouth bass weighed four pounds, eight ounces, and was caught on a whopper plopper. Next, we see seven-year-old Harper Westbrook and her mom, Jamie McAndrew of North Abington Township, and the largemouth bass that Harper caught all by herself on June 19th. Harper's largemouth bass, which she pulled out of her grandparents' pond near Lake Winola, measured 20 inches in length and was caught using a red worm and a bobber. And she caught it on her princess fishing pole. Next, we see Jack's white knight of Benton, along with his father, Jason, and his very first smallmouth bass. Jack's smallmouth bass measured seven inches in length and was caught while fishing on the Susquehanna River in Bloomsburg, and he was using a number five blue fox spinner. Finally this morning, we see four-year-old Joseph Zankzak of Scranton and the smallmouth bass that he caught while fishing on Popacken Lake. Joseph's smallmouth bass was caught on a white twister tail. Nice catch, Joseph. And with all of these successful sportsmen out there, we'll put a close to this week's edition of Pennsylvania People and Places. Ah, don't forget, all of the hunting seasons are coming up, lots of fall fishing. Take a photo, send it to us. Easiest way, go to our homepage and hit the slideshow. We're gonna take a short break and we'll be right back. <music> 